Oh, sh the train's moving. It's, it's leaving. Right now we're at Halifax Railway Station and we're about to take Via Rail's The Ocean Train overnight for 21 hours all the way to Montreal. We're still a little bit early right now, but at about 12, 15, 12, 30, we'll go check in for our train over there. If you're taking the ocean and you're on a sleeper class ticket, then you actually get access to this little lounge here in Halifax. Now it's not much, not too interesting of a space, but you've got a coffee machine and it's a nice little place to relax. This is gonna be really exciting. It's gonna be my second time on Via Rail and the ocean is known as one of the most scenic, most enjoyable train rides. It's gonna be really nice. All right, now that we're off, we've departed Halifax. Let's go for a quick room tour here on Via Rail's The Ocean sleeper class cabin. I'm sitting here in one of two seats in the daytime configuration of this unit, obviously at nighttime. This little table in the middle will go up and then they'll pull down a second berth, the upper berth, and then we'll be able to split the two person section over here. Now during the daytime, we've got a table over here that pulls out. On this side, there's two individual closets, one that's super narrow and one that has a little bit of space. Here you've got some tissues, a little bit of garbage disposal, power outlets, and a clothes rack if you need to hang your garments. Obviously the curtains are really nice as well. They can be opened or closed. Right now we've still got some views of the city, but later on it's gonna be more rural and I'm really looking forward to seeing what we actually see in terms of the views. I love that you say that and then a brick wall shows up. <laughs> <laughs> and that's about it in terms of what's inside the main living and sleeping area. Now let's take a look at the bathroom. And welcome to the bathroom here in the sleeper class cabin for two. It is a pretty tight unit. There's not a lot of space to move around, but you've got everything you need in the bathroom. Down here is the toilet, obviously. On this side, you've got your sink and a mirror. Taking a look at the shower here, it really is in a pretty small corner. I'm really gonna be curious what the shower experience is like. Last time I was on prestige class, there was a glass door. This time, not so much, so there might be some water getting everywhere, but let's find out later on when we actually use the shower. Shortly after soaking it all in and getting my obligatory Instagram story updated, it was time to make my way to the dining car for lunch. All right, we just passed the city of Truro in Nova Scotia. Now it's time to have lunch. We've ordered some clam chowders, some salmon cakes, and maybe some ravioli as well. I'm looking forward to seeing how food on board the ocean is gonna taste. First up is the soup of the day, the clam chowder. Super tasty. After the clam chowder, I ordered the salmon cakes, which in all honesty were a little more moist on the outside and room temperature on the inside than I would have liked, but was elevated by the roasted vegetables and tartare sauce that accompanied them. And to top off lunch, we were served a delicious carrot cake and a selection of tea where you actually get about two cups to yourself per bag. Now after the meal, there was a matter of utmost importance that demanded my attention in the specific cabins that provided complimentary Wi-Fi. They don't seem to allow video streaming. So I'm just using my data, we're passing through a little area, a little pocket of nicer data, I'm just tuning into the match right now. But anytime it could cut, it could cut out, and then I'll be really, really upset. Okay, after lunch, after a few hours on the train, we've made it out here to Moncton, which is a city in New Brunswick, major hub in Atlantic Canada, a place I've never been, and now I guess I have been for 10 minutes while we get off the train and rest our legs a little bit. Love to explore around here a little bit more in the future, but soon we'll have to get back on because otherwise the train's about to leave. And as the evening rolled in, I returned back to the Wi-Fi car to get some work done and watch the beautiful sunset. And I gotta say, as much as I love being in the sky, it's something else to slow down and let the world pass you by along the rails. 
But before I knew it, dinner was upon us, and little did I know I was in for a surprise. Oh, wow. They've got pork char siu with fried rice. I'm really curious how Via Rail is going to do Asian food between Halifax and Montreal. All right, well here we've got the pork char siu with fried rice, which at first glance, let's just say, doesn't exactly look like the same as what you'll find as on the streets of Hong Kong. But let's find out. Tastes a little better than it looks, I'd say, overall. Maybe my expectations were a little high to start. Well, I have finished my plate and this dish has indeed made me full. Can't say it was the most authentic pork chassis I've had, but let's call it a creative interpretation. And thankfully we've still got dessert, which will hopefully finish off this meal on a sweet note. Now as the evening rolled in, I prepared to go to sleep. And even though the attendants always offer to lower the top bunk for you, I decided I wanted to give it a go myself. I think we got it. And while I intended to stay up for the next stop in Campbellton, New Brunswick, I couldn't help but doze off for just a few minutes. Finally able to get up over here. I really do have to say the rocking motion of the train really just makes you fall asleep way too easily and it's sometimes just near impossible to get up. I've taken a few train rides in the past and they've all just been like rather sleepy affairs for that reason and this one is no exception. I've taken like three naps. <laughs> Okay, after sleeping for a bit too long and finally waking up, it's now time to shower on the train. Showering on the train was definitely an interesting experience, especially since in the past there was at least a glass door dividing yourself from the rest of the washroom. And unfortunately, as I spent time showering, I missed the last call for breakfast. However, I was able to step out to our final stop before Montreal. It's morning here in St. Foy Station, which is just outside of Quebec City. This is our last stop before we arrive into Montreal. It's actually a beautiful day, blue skies now. Quebec is always so beautiful in the fall. It's just so nice to come out here for a few minutes, enjoy some fresh air again, and then only a few more hours to go before we arrive. Oh, sh the train's moving. It's, it's leaving. Nah, it's gonna stop, it's gonna stop again. It's gonna, they do two stops at St. Foy because the, the Train's too long for the platform. At least I think. And just like that, we're back in Montreal's Gare Centrale, back in the Via Rail Hub. Honestly, I really enjoyed this journey. Just about 21, 22 hours from Halifax. Super relaxing, super enjoyable. The train just kind of rocks you to sleep and I think there's something really nice about just waking up and being in a brand new place and watching the scenery go by. So yet another very special Canadian train experience checked off my list. And if you want to see the big one, the Canadian that I took from Winnipeg to Toronto in Via Rail's prestige class, the equivalent of first class, then go ahead and check out this video. You'll definitely not want to miss it. I'll see you over there.